Uh, yeah. I think Dennis Holman actually fought on that event. Um, how was your experience with Japan? Was that, then it was kind of the Wild West days, you know, yeah. in, in that country. So, yeah, Dennis won by he beat Mark, um, uh, Matt Hume. Like, Matt quick. Hume. Yeah, Matt Hume. Like, quick, quick. Yeah, yeah Matt Hume was like, oh, uh, he, he won quick. Um, so, yeah, I remember Dennis and I were cut. We both had to cut a lot of weight. So, we're cutting weight. And um, so, the main event was um, Yuki Kondo against. Um, Ido? Um, help me out here. Tito. Uh, yeah, Tito Ortiz. And so we're, and so I, I'm fighting Chuck Liddell. You know, Tito and Chuck are friends at this point. Um, and so, <laughs> so wait, we're all the, having Tito a, and Chuck made their pact at this point. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There's a whole documentary on Jeff. It's phenomenal. Like, Liddell is just like, I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> so go ahead. I apologize. Go oh, ahead. oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so at least they're 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 friends at this point, and so okay. um, but we're all cutting a lot of weight. Yuki Kondo, he's like 195 pounds soaking wet, and so we're and this 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 is when UFC this is at 200, they're 199. You had to weigh under 200, not 205. Okay. And so we're I'm cutting a lot of weight. Dennis cut a lot of weight, and I remember I being in this. They wouldn't let me in the the main workout area because of my tattoos because of that. In Japan, like tattoos are associated with gangs and stuff like that, or the mafia. So, um, like they really looked even taxi. I couldn't get in a taxi. Some taxis wouldn't give me a ride because I had a tattoos and stuff. So it's it's crazy there. Wow, it's really like the mafia. The only people that uh, that at, at this time only had only like mafia people had tattoos. Um, so anyway, I got into. Uh, so we're cutting weight in this other, in like the actual hotel downstairs instead of the like workout facility for all the other people. And so we're working out and like in the steam rooms and out on the bikes and, and we're dying, man. And I'm like, I'm done because I, I mean, I've been cutting weight for like really a six weeks at this point the, for the other fight and now again, and I'm done. So I like got on this thing and I was like just barely over 200 pounds. So I'm like, okay, I'm good. And so... I go in this like cold pool. It's like a free, like really cold, like water feels so good. I'm not drinking it obviously because I can't put on weight, but I'm like gurgling it and like dumping it and just like, oh God. And these like uh, Japanese guys, like business guys come up to the towel. They come and they sit down they, like at the edge of it, put their like their ass and their balls and stuff. And they're like, they're scrubbing. Like it's just for, that's all it's for. It's like to put your like your ass in there it's like a big bodet kind of thing oh god but i was like i don't know if you've ever been so tired that you just didn't care like you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and so Gosh. but anyway so after we're done like okay this was the this one like the doctor scale downstairs you know like I'm, I'm pretty close and um so we go to the lady that was in charge like the assistant and I go, hey, can we check the roller scale? It's Yuki Kondo's like bathroom gym scale. It's like a bathroom scale, like is, on the is floor. It, it, is, the tar is, it, is the lady uh, Elaine McCarthy? What's that? What's her was name? That, was it Elaine McCarthy? Was it John's wife's uh, dude? No. Name? Okay. No. And uh, yeah, I can see her. I just can't think of her name, man. <laughs> um, and so we go into. Uh, she, she just gives us her key to the to the room, so we go into her room, find the bathroom scale, the U, like the official scale for the UFC, and we get on it. I'm like six pounds, five and a half pounds over. I'm like, and Dennis is the same. I'm like, after the cut, huh? After, after all that, cut. no, they yeah. they cut, they check themselves on the official scale ahead no of time, way. and they're five over. No yeah. way. Yeah, so I'm like. Break the scale, Dennis. <laughs> like break it. So he gets on. He gets Get on the, the, right the guy. bathroom counter and jumps down on the scale. And now we're like fourteen or fifteen pounds over. And I'm like fucking just bust it down. So he he jumps on like three or four more times, and then we get on it. When we kind of like lean back a little bit, we're like uh, I'm like one under. Like <laughs> I'm like half under. I'm like okay, okay. So we put it back. We like run out of there, sneak out for everything back the way it was. 
And we're like, okay. So um, being like fair, we went and talked to Tito and said, bro, like uh, go check yourself on the scale. And if you lean back a little bit and I, and I told Chuck too, I'm like, man, I don't want to like screw you because that, but they, they're trying to screw us. So we, we could at least be on the same page. And so get, go check your weight now, but lean back a little bit. If you lean back, you'll like be on weight, you know, or be at whatever. So the next morning when they had, we had the, the way in it wasn't it's nothing like the ufc now man you know ufc now they announce your name and they do the face off all this here was like a like a like a high school wrestling meet people just kind of lined up as they are they come in there you get on they check they check your weight okay this guy's made it okay this guy's made it and so we were the first in line we were like there a half hour early as soon as they go okay we're, we're up okay so we weigh in and we're up and down the gatorades and everything like like quick and um as soon as Yuki Kano got on, he's like, what? Now he's like 10 pounds under or something. He knows that we fucked with the scale. <laughs> and so he's complaining, the wrestler complained, and they're like, no, no, we have to use a different scale. And we're and we're like, and we're like, Matt Hume is like, bro, they've already been drinking. They're they're over, you know, I mean, they're gonna obviously not gonna make weight twice. So there's no way. So it was a big, big ordeal. Um, but um, uh, like, what can they say? They were cheating. So was Matt Hume in on it as well? Um, he knew about it. That's, we told him. That's the best guy. That's yeah, the best it, guy it, to it, coordinate everything. Especially in, yeah. Japan, in Japan, if you need somebody to argue your case, that's a good guy to stand behind and just yeah. let him do the talking. Absolutely. Yeah, because they they were ready to. I mean, Yuki Khan, they were ready to like start pulling fights and stuff. I mean, they were that angry that. Like, because we won't get on a different scale or, you know, that, and we're like, no, no, no. So, you know, actually on a different scale, we probably would have still made weight even after drinking if because we're, you know what I mean? But, as long as it was legit, right? Yeah, yeah, we made it legit. And that's what we had. We didn't feel bad about it because we, we legitimately suffered and made weight. So it wasn't like, and even the night and after we made, like we screwed up the scale, whatever, like we didn't, you know, at that point we were right on just like we were downstairs at the, the the doctor scale. So we're like, we're on like we would be at a normal. You know, if, even if they brought in a doctor scale, like a red, they didn't use Yuki Kano's jacked up scale, we'd, we'd still make weight because we legitimately made weight. So we didn't feel bad at all about it.